You know, I was sh shocked by just about – just like every other football fan was. And um, this one needs, in my opinion, this one needs an explanation. Because if you watch football in the last two decades, there's no way in the world that Antonio Gates is not a first ballot Hall of Famer. And, you know, take my – I think he's the best tight end of all time. But take my bias opinion out because he was my teammate. I played with him, played for the Chargers or whatnot. Take my bias, a team, uh, a bias opinion away. I think that most football fans would agree that Antonio Gate is at least top three of all time. And so if, if that's the case, if he's top three of all time, how, how are you not a first ballot? I don't know if you've reached out to him or said anything to him. And he's going to get in. Obviously, he's going to have his day. What would you say to Antonio? You know, what I would say to Antonio, um, you know, kind of just keep your head up. I think that, you know, watch him every day in practice. Watch what he did, his body of work. I've seen it firsthand, so I know this has to bother him some. Uh, but I think you can talk to any other uh, any other team, any other player that played against Antonio Gates, including any other fan bases. Every, everybody would agree that, you know, this is pretty much an, an embarrassment, man. This one, um, I know they don't come out and give too many explanations, but this this one needs an explanation because you're talking about some one of the best that's ever do it of the top three that does not gotten in. And, and I agree, uh, you know, the Hall of Fame should be very, very selective, right? You should not be an easy route to get in. Deion Sanders talked about it. There should be tears. I actually agree that there probably should be tears in, in the Hall of Fame or who you let in or not. Even at those tears, Antonio Gates is top tier. And so this one, in my opinion, needs an explanation.